Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be for the rituals. The rituals that you can do during the month of Shravan. Yes, if you are Indian, then you know that what is the importance, what is the significance of the month of Shravan. Shravan is the month where, yes, it rains a lot and it is a very pure month for and yes this is the month for the destroyer and you basically why why people believe so much in the destroyer yes a destroyer is the one who actually protects you and that is why people actually there are more people who follow him so yes people really like the destroyer okay because destroyer only destroys what is evil so yes and he knows what is what is good and what is evil he knows how to know it clearly whether somebody lies or not he knows whether that person's uh, heart is pure or not okay so yes so that is why we are going to see this reading now this reading is going to be like a timeless reading also this is going to be a general reading so whoever if, if you are like if you were just like going across youtube videos and you just came across this video and you want to watch this video then by all means yes this video has some or the other message that is important that is necessary for you to watch okay so yes make sure that you watch this entire video till the end to get the entire scope okay so let's get started yeah before i get started something about myself i am Preeti, and i have been doing tarot since past 19 plus years and in these 19 years you know i have read for like thousands of people i have connected with more than 54,000 people yes on the subject of tarot and spirituality so you know that you are getting the reading from good hands okay so you are in good hands so first of all we have the card for yes we have the card for justice so definitely you know this month is for justice now justice card it actually is connected with the lord shani okay shani is yes he is connected with the number eight and justice is also the number eight card yeah this is number 11 but generally justice should be number eight card and number eight is where it shows that how much of your karmas you are ready to pay off so yes so this month yes there could be some of the bad karmas that you have to pay off as i said destroyer only destroys the evil okay so if you have some bad karmic uh, baggage to pay off yes he will make sure that that bad karmic bad karmic baggage is destroyed now you will say okay how it is going to be destroyed it will be destroyed by paying it off okay so yes there is going to be some justice at the same time you are supposed to do justice you are supposed to be just full fair in whatever you do okay now there is a very strange thing happening that you know people just feel oh it's the month of shravan you know you cannot you cannot lie you cannot do this you cannot do that okay you have to be very pure and you have to worship this and that but yes yes you have to do all that stuff but even when it is not the month of shravan you're supposed to do it you're supposed to be fair and just throughout your life not in just one month okay so yes that being said the next card here we have is this card this is the ace of cups and if you were not in a relationship if you are single then this card actually suggests that there is going to be some sparks flying you are going to mingle with somebody in this month so yes you could find somebody you could be you could be finding somebody with whom you could get into a relationship so yes this will show you the sprouting of a new relationship at the same time if you are already in a relationship yes this shows that it is now the right time to start rebuilding your relationship yes every relationship you know it, it requires some ignition fuel from time and again so this shows that yes you have to add the fuel of your emotions you have to add the fuel of your love into the relationship time and again okay it's not that that if you get married then you know you you won the game okay it doesn't mean that yes you have to constantly keep on working on your relationship next card we have is this this actually shows you know there will be some sort of fighting some sort of fighting some sort of defense that you will be doing in this month and this month this could be anything you know defending your beliefs defending your what you are doing your dreams you're you're following your dreams and there are people who are constantly opposing it could be defending against those people okay that being said the next card here we have is the devil card so the devil card is actually shows you know the devilish energies inside you 
or it is going to show the devilish energies around you now most of the time people have the tendency of focusing on the negative quality of others but usually people ignore or maybe overlook the negative qualities that are inside them so what you are supposed to do you know in this yes during this month of shravan you are supposed to make sure that the devil inside you you are getting rid of all the negative qualities and you are allowing the devil to be banished Ban devil to be banished okay uh, devil to be banished devil to be diminished the voice of the devil should be nullified during this month yes so this level of purification is definitely needed and the next card we have is this this card is what is the six of wands and this card says that yes you are going to achieve something in this month okay so now you know whenever i say if, if i say that you're going to achieve you could say okay what am i going to achieve you will be achieving the rewards yes rich, uh, the rewards of your hard work so whatever hard work you have done you are actually going to receive the rewards of it you are going to achieve the achieve success in that you are going to yeah grow in leaps and bounds in whatever direction you have worked hard on now if you have not worked hard yes that is something that you will have to work for okay if you want to attain success first you have to start hard working and in the direction wherever you are working hard yes you will actually find yourself uh, succeeding okay so you could either succeed in this month or you could plant the seed so that you could succeed in the future okay the next card we have is of the empress this card actually says that in this month yes it is going to it is going to be an abundant month okay abundant month in the sense where you can expect um enough amount of everything that you need enough of everything that you want okay uh, okay now want is wants could be unlimited but needs are something that are limited so yes it, it is where you know all your basic needs are going to be fulfilled you'll have ample amount of stuff for your basic needs okay so yeah so that being said okay now let's see what are the messages coming for you for this month because that is what is super important right because see what is going to happen it could be either good or it could be bad but that's not going to be the end of the story right you can still improve your life based on what can be done right how can you improve whatever bad is going to happen how can you improve that so that it's not it's not going to yes it's going to make your life positive right it's going to end up in a positive note which is what we want right so let's see what are the things you're supposed to do during this month what are the rituals you are supposed to do in this month now you know because i had begun this video on the note that this is like a ritual what ritual you are supposed to do during this month you may say okay where are the rituals you just said okay this will happen that will happen or you have to do this you have to do that where are the rituals okay you if, if you ask me that if you have that sort of feeling let me tell you that yes whatever you were supposed to do like as i said you're supposed to work in the direction of achieving success that was a ritual okay rituals are not always uh, like you know going into the forest and lighting a light and you know just doing some hooligan dance that that's not always a ritual okay yes those are some rituals which can work uh, can work after all the hard work has been done the thing is people are so much lost in rituals that they have forgotten to do hard work and they just endlessly keep on doing rituals and then say oh this ritual did not work i did not get the result why you did not get the result because you actually did not work in any direction the ritual by itself does not work okay any ritual like lighting a candle and burning seven candles sitting in the center and asking for a wish nothing of nothing of that sort works unless you are working on something you are working on your purpose unless you are working on your dreams okay so yes now let's continue yes i was going to show you some of the messages that you're supposed to follow yes how exactly can you improve your life through this month of shravan okay which is an important thing to be known right so let's get started so first of all yes the first card we have here is this card and 
this is the card it says messenger movement um, travel news visitor delivery so there is going to be a messenger this messenger could be anybody it, the messenger could also be a stranger okay any important message that you that you are supposed to receive or you are ought to receive during this month yes it could be even from a stranger like you know you're just walking by the road you you went to buy your groceries and somebody just crossed you and they were saying something and whatever they said actually you know it just hit you and you you could not understand the meaning of it at the moment but yes that that is a, actually a message for you okay so yes that is also going to be a sort of message that you that is going to be meant for you the next card we have is this yes if you are tied up to something that is that is just consuming your time that is just uh, that is just tying you up such that it's not it's not letting you be effective in any work you do it's not letting letting you be 100 percent okay in whatever you are doing then you are supposed to yes let go of that weight now i don't know what that weight is you know what that weight is in your life if you don't know then i would suggest you know just close your eyes sit for meditation and just try to just try to figure out what exactly in your life is weighing you down what is taking so much of your time what is taking so much of your energy but you are not getting any happiness out of it that is something that is weighing you down so that is something that you have to get rid of the next card is this one the next card actually says that yes migration or relocation so um, this could be migrating and relocating yourself it could be your office or it could be that if there are people around you who are not who are not exactly uh, liking you who are not exactly behaving the way they should be behaving they are actually being a pain in the air i'm not supposed to speak that okay then that that person could be actually migrating away from you which is actually going to be something a sort of good news right the next card we have is this card and it is the white wolf and yes you have to have a lot of confidence so you may say okay but i don't i i am not a confident person where do i get the confidence from see confidence comes to you when you are being yourself when you are trying to be somebody else that confidence is not going to shine through you okay so yes you are supposed to be yourself and trust your inner knowing believe in your power um, yeah freedom etc so this is what you are supposed to have <coughs> excuse me so you are supposed to build on your confidence so try to figure out whatever now you know this is a very good method i'll tell you how you can build your confidence uh, you can just you know once you are uh, once you end watching this video you can list down five activities that you like doing the most okay and five activities that you hate you just don't like those activities you wish that you never had to do those activities okay so then what you have to do is uh yes try it once you have listed five good and five bad activities try to see which activities you know if, if you want to be a very confident person the five good activities should be like you should be doing on a regular basis on, on your day-to-day -day life and the five bad activities could be like you you hardly have to do once a month or once in three four months then then it is going to actually boost your confidence if it is like you are you are like doing a lot of bad activities that you don't like and you just you are just doing one or two good activities in in like once in six months then it is actually going to weigh you down it is actually going to burn down your energies so this is why yes try to figure out the good activities what brings out your confidence what makes you happy what makes you feel contented excited joyful and start doing those more now yes uh, some of you guys may say okay what are your good activities what are your bad activities some of you guys may say oh doing going to the job well <laughs> that is not my problem right it, it it is it has to be you who have to choose a better job right if you don't have a good job yeah just pray to god that he just helps you pull through and try to find a yes ask your god ask your spirit guides that they send the right opportunity that is going to make you joyful and excited while you are working okay and at the same time while you're doing that yes try to also keep on working on your current job right so yes that being said yeah 
so that is that until next time uh if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with others i will see you again in my next video do stay subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments how does this video help you and yes before i end this video if while watching this video you have additional questions and you feel that you want me to answer those questions by all means i can do your reading but yes reading is actually going to be chargeable and yes you have to visit my website to check out all the consultation charges Consult consultations are of three different types of many different types basically they are like 30 minute 60 minute 90 minute consultation and you have to pre-book the consultation pre-booking the consultation involves a pre-payment once the payment is made after that the payment has to be confirmed once the payment is confirmed you will be given a date and a time and because based on that yes you will be given the reading and the reading will be given either by via a phone call or a video call okay so yeah so that being said yeah that is it for today's reading until next time keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching Bye bye